Good afternoon. Welcome to Ohio Dominican University. My name is Adam Neal. I serve as the Vice President for University Advancement here at Ohio Dominican, and it's my pleasure to welcome you here today. As you'll find out in just a few moments, this is an incredibly special day for Ohio Dominican, as well as for the members of our founding congregation, the Dominican Sisters of Peace. I'd like to begin by acknowledging a few of the special guests that we've got joining us here today. Uh, I would like to welcome Ohio Dominican President, Dr. Peter Symbolic, representing the Ohio Dominican Board of Trustees, Chair Tom Mueller. We also have a number of our other Board of Trustees members joining us here today. Thank you for being here. We also have Sister Pat Tuhill, Prioress of the Dominican Sisters of Peace, and her leadership team, Sisters Jean Poor, Therese Leckert, Anne Lithgow, and Gemma Dahl. I would like to invite Sister Gemma to the podium to share an opening prayer. Thank you, Adam. As we quiet our hearts and open our minds, and as we prepare for Holy Week, we walk in faith and great hope as we remain in your word, O Jesus. We give praise and thanks to your holy name. We believe in you, God of infinite love and boundless mercy. You have already blessed this day and all those gathered here with the grace of friendship and a quest for truth, the truth that will set us free. With your guidance, we commit to contemplate truth and to share with others the fruit of that contemplation. We beg for your ongoing blessing on Ohio Dominican University and especially on the Doctorate of Physical Therapy program. May the healing ministry of Jesus be carried on through the hands of these future DPT graduates to heal both hurting bodies and failing spirits. We seek your wisdom for the board, for administration, for faculty and staff, as we together pursue truth, justice, and peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sister. Please join me in welcoming to the podium the Prioress of the Dominican Sisters of Peace, Sister Pat Tuhill. Well, thank you, Adam. And thanks to each and every one of you who are here today. We're very happy to see you as we look out. And <clears throat> we are sharing a most significant moment today in the life of Ohio Dominican University. We invited you to the East Campus Building because as most of you are aware, and as Sister Gemma mentioned, the university has been pursuing innovative and forward-thinking ways to provide education for its students. ODU has a deep commitment to academic excellence that prepares students to engage the world with passion and purpose. ODU strives to be in tune with the emerging needs of our world. To be specific, the Doctorate in Physical Therapy program is a new outreach into a growing direction in healthcare. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the physical therapy profession is expected to experience a 34% increase over the next seven years. Many of us in this room, although we have a number of young people here, but many of others of us in this room have experienced the benefits of PT. So we know how important it is. The newly created Doctor of Physical Therapy program at Ohio Dominican University is a direct response to this need in our society and reflects our commitment as Dominican Sisters of Peace to the healing mission of Jesus. 
I am very happy to announce to you that the leadership team of the Dominican Sisters of Peace has approved a major donation to ODU in the amount of $1.5 million. Thank you, thank you very much. This gift will be used to launch the expected renovation of this building, which will house the doctorate in physical therapy program. This building will become a state-of-the-art center with the technological capacity to train and educate students in this field that is growing so rapidly across the United States. We see this gift providing the momentum needed to inspire other major donors to come forward and to support this very exciting and emerging program. $500,000 of our gift is set aside for matching to encourage other donors to participate. We believe that Ohio Dominican University is in a good position to grow Although, as you know, President Symbolic is retiring, and Peter, we will miss you, we are very happy that you are here today to receive our gift on behalf of the for the university, and we thank you for all that you have done during your tenure to strengthen Ohio Dominican University. Dr. Robert Gervaisi has just been named Peter's successor, and we know that he will bring his own vision and leadership ability to ODU and to its compelling mission. The Dominican Sisters of Peace also have great confidence and faith in our dedicated board of trustees, the faculty and staff who so generously support excellent education at this Catholic and Dominican institution. That being said, this gift is focused on ODU's students who will pursue the doctorate in physical therapy. It will assure them that the state-of-the-art facility necessary for a well-developed DPT program and allow them to respond to a most pressing need in our society. I am also very pleased to announce that because of this gift, this East Campus building will be renamed in a manner that honors the Dominican Sisters of Peace who have been so integral to the history of this institution and who continue to strongly support Dominican Catholic education here and elsewhere. And so I now invite President Symbolic and Sister Gemma Dahl, who serves as my delegate to the Ohio Dominican University Board, to come forward now to reveal to us the new name of this building. And so we have Peace Hall. <clears throat> Thank you. Very simple name, but carries a lot of meaning. And now uh, President Symbolic will say a few words. Wow. <laughs> Sister Pat, members of the congregation, on behalf of the entire Ohio Dominican community, our sincerest thank for the leadership team, you, Sister Pat, and the entire congregation of the Dominican Sisters of Peace. The spirit and the dedication of your congregation, of our congregation, is woven into the fabric of our university community. It's in our DNA. The presence of the sisters on our campus is a daily reminder of their desire to provide a quality Catholic education in the Dominican tradition to generations of students. This gift is not only the largest single gift in the history of the university, 
It's a demonstration of the sisters' vision and commitment to the future of ODU, the school they founded. The field of physical therapy, as Sister Pat indicated, will grow in demand as our population ages, and as you made reference to obliquely, and many of us enjoy the benefits of those services. Matter of fact, I wasn't sure I'd make it in time today. Uh, by making the investment in ODU's Doctor of Physical Therapy program, the Dominicans of Sisters of Peace are making a gift toward the healing and well-being of thousands of patients who will be treated by future graduates of this program. Just think about the combination of our PT program and our PA program in terms of what it's done to the health care needs of Greater Columbus and the state of Ohio. What it's done to for the people of the state of Ohio, but what it's done for this great university. But this incredible leadership gift pushes our total money raised in gifts and pledges for the proposed DP2 program past the $2 million mark. So my congratulations to all of the other fundraising efforts that have taken place and for Adam and his team. Even more, the challenge portion of the sister's generous gift has already generated additional giving to the program. And stay tuned, still has nearly $161,000 of matching funds remaining. So, if you want to support this program, <laughs> you knew it was coming. If you want to support this program and double your gift at the same time, this would be the perfect time to do so. I especially want to thank Sister Pat for her leadership in this process. Sister Pat is a member of our Board of Trustees and understands the importance of the DPT program in expanding our educational offerings and in the health sector and in, and in developing our very first doctoral program. I also want to acknowledge the role of our board chair, Tom Mueller. I know that Tom has worked closely with Sister Pat to craft and finalize this transformational gift on behalf of the university. Tom, my heartfelt thanks on behalf of everybody here in terms of your work in this. Between Sister Pat and Tom, this would not have been possible without the efforts of each of them, so thank you. And of course, the leadership team. The future of physical therapy education is critically important to our society as our lifespans increase, and more people require the recuperative services of these highly trained medical professionals. We are committed to providing a world-class education for the physical therapists who will earn their doctoral degrees in this building. Just like the PA program is not only the largest PA program in the state of Ohio, it's the best in terms of the, PA, of the pass rate. My vision has always been not to have a B PT program, but to have the best PT program in the state of Ohio. So that is our goal. Thanks to the Dominican Sisters of Peace and their commitment to the university, they founded more than a century ago. We are taking a major step forward in the launching of the program. Sister Pat, I'd like you to join me at the podium for a moment so I can present you with a memento of this historic day. The inscription reads, with sincere appreciation to the Dominican Sisters of Peace for their generous leadership to give towards the Doctor of Physical Therapy program at Ohio Dominican University. Your passion and devotion to ODU will never be forgotten. Most gratefully, Peter Symbolic, President, April 6, 2017. Thank you, President Symbolic. Thank you, Sister Pat. I would like to invite one more individual to the podium to share comments on behalf of the Board of Trustees. Please join me in welcoming Chair, Mr. Tom Mueller.
tough acts to follow. <laughs> I don't have a million five. Um, <laughs> on behalf of the board and personally, I do want to also extend my sincere thanks to Sister Pat, the leadership team, all the sisters. Uh, I also want to shout out to one other uh, individual, another sister that has been at my side for the last, I don't know, six years I've been on the board, helping me, coaching me, and I think spearheaded a little of this initiative. Sister Janice, you've been great. Thank you. Um, a couple years ago at the Black and Gold Dinner, I got a chance to speak there um, at the last moment, and I sort of said something that it's, I've stayed with, that, you know, ODU is such a special place, um, but it's sort of a diamond in the rough. Not a lot of people have known where we are, what we have to offer, and, you know, seven years ago when Peter came on board, he and his team put together a strategic vision for this university. And PA came out of it, and now I think that vision is, bring, is going to bring us the DPT program. And so that diamond in the rough that I referred to then is getting polished pretty quick. And I think when we, this building is completely renovated, the first 50 students shows up, the first 50 graduate, this is really going to put ODU on the map. So. The work that you, faculty, staff, our partners at, at the Sisters of Peace, the board, who has, in my opinion, is the greatest board one could ever have because they are so supportive to be as passionate, committed, and, yeah, and contributing to this effort is, goes without saying. So again, I would like to thank everyone here. I would like, again, Sister Pat, the team, Peter. And I'm going to tag on to Peter. We still got $160,000 to match. There will be a cash register at the door on the way out. But anything you can do is greatly appreciated. Thanks for coming, and let's keep putting ODU on the map.